See, Asus has been making this crazy ZenBook Duo laptops for years now, but this one, this is different. See, this is more practical. I mean, still called the Asus ZenBook Duo for 2024, but this time, the dual screens finally make more sense, and that's because of three big changes. Hey guys, this is Rupesh from Silicon. Subscribe if you haven't, it's a new channel. Hit the bell icon. And the biggest change in the new ZenBook Duo is that this has dual, not one, dual 14 inch screens. And this is not a smaller secondary screen like the last time around, because features as many as it had, they were compromises. And these displays, these are identical. These are 14 inch Asus Lumina OLED displays with high end specs, and these look gorgeous. I mean, these are high end OLED panels, so they look really good. The second big change is that this comes with a snap on magnetic keyboard, so you can use this in two ways. See these pogo pins here? Yeah, you can snap the keyboard here and use this like a normal laptop. It will connect and charge via the pins. Or you can use it like a Bluetooth keyboard on your desk, use the dual screen. And it's not like Asus has compromised on the keyboard here. I mean, it's the same one you get on the usual ZenBook. So you get the same nice layout, same 1.4 millimeters travel, the same big touchpad with the glass-like surface. It's also backlit and the light automatically turns on with the lights go dim. And typing on this feels great. Keys are clicky and nice, even when you're using it on your desk like I have. There is some minor flex if you notice it, but it does not hamper the typing. And in Bluetooth mode, this lasts around 24 hours, charges via this Type-C port, and you can check its battery from the screen expert. App. Now, third big change here is that this has an integrated kickstand right here at the bottom. This is what it looks like, and this can be adjusted between 40 to 70 degrees, and that means you can use this to set up the laptop like this, or you can even set it up like this, and you can always adjust the angle the way you want it. And this kickstand, it's actually solidly built. I mean, this is how I've been using this laptop for almost two weeks now, and I've used the kickstand for hours and hours, and there's no wobble, nothing. Now, let's just start counting the number of ways you can use this laptop. First, you can obviously use this like a normal laptop. You can use this in the dual screen mode with the Bluetooth keyboard. You can even set it up like this in a desktop sort of mode. You you can even set it up like this, share a document or a presentation for the person sitting opposite to you. You can even skip the keyboard and just use the dual screens because these are touch screens and the touch response is great. And you can just tap with six fingers anywhere on the screen to bring up this virtual keyboard. Tap with three fingers again and you get a small virtual touchpad along with the keyboard. You can even have a full-blown virtual touchpad and a keyboard on the secondary screen. It's just awesome. Asus even bundles the Asus Pen 2.0 in the box and this comes with different tips. Charges via Type-C and it has these two buttons. One lets you switch to eraser and the other switches the pen to a lasso tool and the styler is pressure sensitive so you can draw annotate and it works really well on these screens. Now the advantage of Asus making these dual screen laptops for years is that there's so many features integrated to make use of the dual displays. For example, clicking on any window lets you put it in the primary or the secondary display and you even get snapping options here. The third option lets you stretch an app into the two screens. Then there's the Screen Expert Control Center with all of these tools. I mean, you can use this to swap apps between these two screens, arrange apps using the App Navigator, create task groups to open a set of specific apps on specific screens. You also get these utilities. For example, the Control Center brings you all of these controls in different apps. I mean, in Photoshop, you get these controls on the secondary screen and you can customize everything here. I mean, these features have been present but the bigger secondary screen makes them way more useful. Now, powering all of this are the latest Intel processors. So this is actually an Intel Evo Edition laptop and there are multiple variants here going from Core Ultra 5 all the way to Core Ultra 9 and we have the top of the line variant. And this has the powerful 14 Gen Core Ultra 9, 185H and the Intel Arc GPU with a combined TDP of 35 watts. And add to that, there's fast 2 TB PCIe Gen 4 storage and 32 GB LPDDR5X RAM clocked at 7467 MHz. Now the SSD speeds are great, but the Core Ultra 9 paired with this form factor means the benchmarks are not crazy out of the world, be it for the CPU or the GPU. I mean, at heart, this is a thin and light laptop, but the real world performance is impressive. See, I've been using this as my daily driver for more than two weeks now, and I've been taking full advantage of the dual screens with multiple apps running, 10 to 15 Chrome tabs open all the time, some basic photo editing, and I've faced no hiccups. Everything has been smooth, even when using, say, Photoshop. Fans never turn on, there's no heating. I mean, this is supposed to be a work productivity laptop and that's where it excels. I did try some CS2 to get an idea of the performance and runs well at basic settings. So this tells me that this can handle games like Rocket League or Valorant. In terms of thermals, you get two fans and two heat pipes and I only heard the fans when running the benchmarks. And the Core Ultra 9 185, which is also very efficient. I mean, the 75 watt battery here has been great. I've been getting somewhere between seven to eight hours of battery life on this. Plus a special mention to the charger because it looks like this. Yeah, laptop charger. 
charger. Yes, Asus bundles this super compact 65 watt GAN charger which fast charges the laptop. And by the way, I did notice that this laptop charges with any USB-C charger, not even PD required. I mean, the charging is obviously slower, but for emergencies when you leave your charger, this can be useful. Now, there are two Thunderbolt 4 ports, both of which support DP and PD charging. There's also one fast USB-A port, a full-size HDMI 2.1 and an audio combo jack. The webcam is an FHD IR camera, so you get Windows Hello unlocking. And the camera app has all these fun features. And thanks to the kickstand, the camera angle is finally perfect on a laptop by default. Now the back of the laptop is very Zenbook like, a bit of a fingerprint magnet but it's good looking and this weighs in at 1.65 kgs with the keyboard and everything which is not bad considering dual displays and the solid kickstand as well on the back. And like the other Zenbooks, this too is also military grade certified. Now if you're wondering about the speakers, they are too tuned by Harman Kardon and they have Dolby Atmos support and these speakers are loud and nice, kind of lacking bass but it's fine. As for the software, this comes with Windows 11 and you get the handy My Asus app, you get 3 months of Adobe Creative Cloud and and there's MS Office 2021 bundle. Look, I personally feel I'm the right guy to talk about the Zenbook Duo because I've used every single one of them. And I'll be honest, the past Zenbook Pro Duos, the Duos, they were always very cool to look at, but there was always some of the other compromise, making them not so practical. The Zenbook Duo 2024, on the other hand, is finally a dual screen laptop that makes total sense. The full size secondary screen, the kickstand, the detachable keyboard, the software, everything here falls perfectly into place this time around. I mean, the fact that I can carry this around and set it up like this anywhere I want is incredible. Your dual screen laptops are no longer gimmicky. This is the moment. This is dual screen laptops going mainstream. Now, at the end of the day, this is a premium laptop and it starts at rupees 1.6 lakhs and the top of the line variant here goes for 2.4 lakhs. But I want to know from you, do you think dual screen laptops are here to stay now? Comment down below. And yeah, we finally hit 100k subscribers. So thank you to each and every one of you. And yeah, hit the bell icon if you haven't. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.